Hey guys, you know what? We're back with some Fallout. So today we are going to cover some a certain cabin. You know, it was actually one of the deals. I was looking for some lore and I found it. Kind of came up on me. We're in the loading screen right now. Figured I'd kind of give you some heads up. We're start as you can see. Drumlin Diners right over there. Just right there. I found this little abandoned shack. Some bourbon, some jet, just a little bit of stuff. Nothing much. Old beer bottles. I guess it was a camp for a little while. And I got to noticing a little light off in the distance. Kind of looked like a little camp. So, of course, me and Dog Me, you know, we're adventurous people. So, we decide we're going to slip up there and just check us out. Of course, I see a ghoul. I hate the things. I can't. I'm just, I'm anti-ghoul. I mean, there are some of them that are cool, but most of them just scare the crap out of me because they rush me while I'm not paying attention. And it's like, why do you hate me again? So, anyway. So we approach the cabin, and we find out it's named the Gorski Cabin. Well, we're going to use the vats to see if we can get a leg up on some of these guys. Dogmeat valiantly fights, as he always does, just whipping more people than I ever do in most of my games. Dogmeat, MVP of the year. Crit the thing, kill it. So now, you know, why are they this big concentration of ghouls? Well, look and find to find one more ghoul. We're going to kind of just try and bust him before he can even do anything to us. Checking around, don't see anything on my mini map. So, of course, we find out it's the Gorski cabin. Well, you find a chemistry station, you know. Figure out we can make some stem packs. I'm going to do that real quick. Just kind of get us a case something here. Maybe doesn't like us too much. You know, nothing big. Some little bourbon on bourbon bottle. Empty bourbon bottle. Some jet. And then, get to a root cellar. You know, not real common. A lot of these cabins are built the same way. But I have, don't can't say I found another one that has a root cellar like this. You can correct me if I'm wrong. So we move down it, and we kind of enter in this little area right here, you know, not much. And then you kind of come out, you can see somebody's definitely dug out and done. Find an armor workbench, an old tub, purified water, you know, some good early game stuff. Some Rad X, purified water, even a lantern. Find some Wonder Glue. Well, you know, even an ammo box, so... Somebody was pretty prepared down here. Well, we go and we see there's a little kind of tunnel area. You can see it's definitely corroded over time and done. Well, then we come to this room. Find a toilet. Really never understood that part. Pack of cigarettes and a radio. And well, we find Wayne Gorski. This being Gorski Cabin, I kind of assumed that this is probably the fate of its owner. We get crippled in the fight because of my young level in this character. So, you know, we down some purified water to get us back up to health and then just, you know, unload our last vats attack and somehow kill the guy. So, of course, we find it's Wayne Gorski. Well, to my best knowledge, it most likely was res we're going to take a stem pack to heal ourselves. We get close to the room, you know, we're not really taking much radiation. Then we get into the room and you start taking rads. Well, you know, we'll oh, close the door. Kind of look around, there's nothing really interesting. You see two radioactive barrels, but I mean, even at this distance, they probably shouldn't be putting out this much. Find a terminal, but it's locked. We're going to come back to that in a minute. We do find a Wasteland Survival Guide, which permanently marks Diamond City on your map, which definitely has helped. We find a joiner die poster, it's actual... History, and then we come over to this desk where we start to get heavily dosed by rads. But we find a mini nuke detonator shell, 
a hemisphere core, a beryllium cap, an alarm clock, duct tape, turpentine, stabilizer fans, and a bunch of other stuff. I took this stuff because I am settlement building, but I'm not much in that department, but kind of sounds to me like he might have been making a bomb, time bomb. You know, as we go along, we search things, and we're going to search the... Find even a bottle cap mine. Kind of a rare occurrence. So let's check out this terminal. See if it gives us a little bit more insight into this Gorski guy that we have found his term his house with some very interesting things that are definitely not just normal, I would say, in this area. Okay, so we've got a statement of intent which Hopefully we'll explain, you know, the mini nuke and radioactive waste sitting in this basement. Okay. I'm going to read it for us. This will be my first and only entry. I identify myself as a free thinking citizen of these once great United States. I will not stand idly as the government infects the minds of its people with devices like the electrical tower they've erected in front of my lawn. I pledge to take down this mind control device by any means necessary. And I've begun construction on an incendiary device. If you are reading this, I've certainly been killed or detained in a government interrogation camp. The news will surely warp to truth and brand me as a communist traitor. Do not believe these lies. Let all true patriots know what I do. Of I do of my own free will and for the good of my country. So, I mean, to be honest, I think... He I don't really know how to respond to some of it, but okay. So first, we do learn that, let's see, right here, it says construction on an incendiary device. That explains why he had the broken down mini nuke. We, I guess he's some, don't know how he got it still, but it does show that he was trying to make some bomb. We actually saw the tower on our way in. We'll go take a look at that later. But it definitely seems like he's paranoid to a very large extent because I mean we found the you know electrical tower mind control device I mean now yes I'm not gonna lie that there probably are some government watches and things that do happen but I definitely think that this guy's probably gone off the deep end with the mind control I mean I'm I don't know if he was just trying to brand it as that to seem like a patriot, even though he just gets mad because he can't see his sunshine every morning while he's drinking his coffee. Or, I mean, to be honest, in this game, there are just some bat crap crazy people. So, we're going to get out of here, you know, kind of taking some rads. So, we can loot it. We find Wayne Gorski, you know, he's, we're just going to, you know, Be a good person and put him back with his work. You know, we took the nuke away from him. We took his life. But let's at least give him the dignity of staying with his little cabin. This can kind of, this will become his tomb after I leave. Come on, come on, doggy. Come on, come on, come on, dog. I like you. You're my adventure buddy, but you're going to have to leave. So, okay. So after we've taken a dose of rads and found parts to a mini nuke, we can still loot, you know, some of the little stuff. We can find ball peen hammers and things of that nature. and We do find some, you know, food items, small stuff that definitely looks like he might have been ready for a disaster if happened. You can check out, you know, got a little weapons bench, nothing just amazing. But... Let's go up top and, you know, just take another look at this little tower to see if there is anything up a little fishy with it. Because, I don't know, I kind of want to check before I call them crazy because the government did pull some crazy things, you know. They made launchers for nukes, I mean, that are man-portable. So, no, I mean, we found these several places around the Commonwealth. I mean, it's just a regular old cabin. So, okay, now that I've kind of observed and seen, you know, how much the... I definitely am kind of thinking that... 
honestly, my thoughts about this is, this kind of shows that just because certain people and certain things were going on, there was still, you know, a little parent. There was a lot of paranoia going around and things of that nature. I mean, we learn about in certain vaults that we'll find people who are highly paranoid. So I'm wondering. I've got to thinking about what has you know this. I mean, just pretty much basically a second Cold War. Now, of course, it was a little more hot, but. It kind of became a Cold War as far as nuclear war because we were both ready for it. I mean, vault Tech was capitalizing on it. So we're going to sit down here by the fire and talk about it for a minute. Just enjoy the warmth. Tell me, don't, no, don't stand in the fire. That's not good for you. So I'm starting to wonder how much paranoia actually went on with this war. I mean, we know in our own world when the you know, Cold War went on, it definitely got the people to a point where they were paranoid. I mean, kids were taking nuclear bomb drills pretty often, and it just kind of seems like a deal of, we can see the same thing happening here, kind of history repeated. So, I think this just kind of shows us just the mindset of how people and now this guy could have been crazy before the war and nothing had to do with it. But one of my guesses is possibly the war was starting to drive people mad because they were questioning their own government and just about everything. I mean, it's definitely something to think about. And it is an interesting little spot and kind of shows how, you know, Bethesda is really good at adding in several different storylines and things like that nature. And this is kind of my first lore video. So hope you all like it. Please like, subscribe. Do what y'all do. Leave a comment if you want me to cover something else. Or leave a comment if you have an opinion on it. I mean, if you think he was just crazy, then comment and tell me that you think that. If you think that I might be, you agree with me and that he, you know, it might have driven several people crazy to, with just the fear of Cold War and nuclear detonation and things of that nature. So, hope y'all like and enjoy this video.